In the hallowed corridors of ancient intellectual pursuits, a luminary emerged, casting a profound and lasting glow upon the tapestry of human knowledge. Hipparchus, a name resonating through the annals of history, stands as a beacon of pioneering intellect in the realms of astronomy and mathematics. But to understand the magnitude of his contributions, we must first weave through the intricate threads of his era, a time when the collective human consciousness sought to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. In the vast tapestry of antiquity, Hipparchus distinguished himself not merely through his work, but also through the context in which he labored. His epic was marked by a collective thirst for understanding, a golden age of intellectual ferment where the minds of great thinkers coalesced in a pursuit of enlightenment. Among these luminaries were predecessors and contemporaries, each contributing threads to the overarching narrative of human progress. The air was thick with the ideas of Euclid, Archimedes, and Eratosthenes, forging pathways of thought that Hipparchus would traverse and transcend. Hipparchus, born in Nicaea around 190 BCE, emerged from the fertile soil of a world shaped by cultural crosscurrents. His familial roots, though partially obscured by the sands of time, likely tethered him to a lineage that cradled intellectual curiosity. The precise contours of his early life remain elusive, yet the intellectual landscape of the Hellenistic world in which he matured undoubtedly left an indelible mark on his nascent mind. The journey of Hipparchus was not a solitary one. It echoed with the resonance of collaborations and exchanges that defined an era. As he navigated the corridors of knowledge, his intellect encountered the fertile grounds of Alexandria, where the Great Library stood as a testament to humanity's collective pursuit of wisdom. Here, amidst scrolls and scholars, Hipparchus refined his ideas, drawing inspiration from the vast reservoirs of human thought that found sanctuary within the library's walls. The Great Library of Alexandria at the heart of the great city that bridged the ancient worlds of Greece and Egypt, stood this intellectual colossus that would become the stuff of legend, providing sanctuary for the mind of not only Hipparchus, but many other great thinkers of the era from Archimedes to Erathosthenes to Ptolemy, founded in the 3rd century BCE. This unparalleled repository of knowledge transcended its physical dimensions to become a symbol of humanity's collective pursuit of wisdom. Housed within its grand halls was not just a library, but the Mausion, a seat of the Muses, the nine goddesses of the arts daughters of Zeus, where scholars and thinkers convened to engage in intellectual discourse and collaborative research. It was an epicenter of learning, drawing minds from diverse cultures and disciplines. The vastity of the great library was staggering, with estimates suggesting that it housed hundreds of thousands of manuscripts and scrolls. These precious texts span the breadth of human knowledge, encompassing disciplines ranging from astronomy to philosophy, mathematics to medicine. It was, in essence, a treasure trove of ancient wisdom, a repository that bore witness to the accumulated insights of countless generations. Tragically, the fate of the Great Library is shrouded in the somber history of destruction. A series of fires, ravenous in their appetite for knowledge, swept through its hallowed halls over the centuries. The exact circumstances of these conflagrations remain elusive, with historical accounts often clouded by the passage of time and the vagaries of war, as the one involving the defense of the city's port by Julius Caesar, which reportedly counted the loss of at least 40,000 between volumes and scrolls. The fires, whether intentional or incidental, proved catastrophic, resulting in the loss of untold volumes of irreplaceable knowledge. Estimates regarding the percentage of material that may have survived this calamity vary, but it is universally agreed that the extent of the loss was profound. In contemplating the legacy of Hipparchus, one cannot help but wonder about the profound influence the great library may have exerted on his intellectual development. As a luminary of his era, it is conceivable that he traversed the marble corridors of this repository of human thought, delving into the works of predecessors and contemporaries alike. The eclectic mix of ideas, cultures, and disciplines housed within the Great Library could well have provided the fertile soil from which Hipparchus' revolutionary theory sprouted. The tantalizing prospect that Hipparchus may have had access to treasures of ancient knowledge contained in the Great Library fuels contemplation on the trajectory of human history. What if the fires that consumed this bastion of wisdom had been averted? The loss of such a vast compendium of human knowledge remains one of history's most lamentable episodes, prompting speculation about the alternate paths of intellectual inquiry of the greatest thinkers of the era that might have unfolded had the great library endured.
In the absence of concrete records, the influence of the Great Library on Hipparchus remains a tantalizing enigma. Yet, the very possibility that the seeds of his groundbreaking ideas were nurtured within those now-ruined walls underscores the profound impact that the preservation or loss of knowledge can have on the course of human civilization. The demise of the Great Library echoes through the corridors of time, reminding us of the fragility of knowledge and the imperative to safeguard the repositories of wisdom that illuminate the tapestry of our shared intellectual heritage. The Parkish travels, not mere wanderings but purposeful explorations, saw him engaging with diverse cultures and intellectual traditions. The panorama of Hipparchus' life also and preeminently unfolded against backdrops ranging from the bustling streets of Rhodes to the contemplative arenas of Babylon. Each location became a crucible where his ideas mingled with those of others, forging a synthesis that transcended geographical boundaries. At the heart of Hipparchus' legacy lies a tapestry of innovation woven with threads of mathematical precision and astronomical acumen. His contributions to trigonometry, embodied in the systematic categorization of chords, elevated the discipline to new heights. The astrolabe, an instrument of immense significance in celestial observations, bore the imprint of his inventive mind. These were not mere tools but keystones in the edifice of scientific progress, influencing disciplines far beyond their immediate applications. In the cosmic realm, Hipparchus cast his gaze upon the heavens, pioneering methods of observation and measurement that would set benchmarks for centuries to come. His meticulous cataloging of stars, encapsulated in the groundbreaking work Catalogus Stellarum Fixarum, laid the foundation for future astronomers. The concept of magnitudes, a scale quantifying the brightness of celestial bodies, emerged as a testament to his analytical prowess. Yet, amid the constellations and calculations, Hipparchus' legacy extends beyond the empirical domain. It intertwines with the very fabric of societal progress, as his insights catalyzed shifts in human awareness. The ripple effect of his work permeated through generations, shaping the trajectory of intellectual inquiry and technological advancement. In the mosaic of ancient luminaries, Hipparchus stands as a figure both unique and interconnected. Distinct from his predecessors and peers, he charted courses that transcended the known, forging intellectual territories anew. His divergence from the prevailing astronomical models of the time, evident in his heliocentric hypotheses, marked him as a maverick whose ideas would find vindication in the unfolding epics. The philosophical contours of Hipparchus' thought, while rooted in the empirical, resonated with a nuanced understanding of the cosmos. His departure from the geocentric worldview, although not fully embraced in his time, sowed seeds of inquiry that would blossom in the fertile minds of future astronomers. The heliocentric inklings that graced his works anticipated a paradigm shift, a celestial revelation awaiting the advent of Copernicus and Kepler. As the tapestry of Hipparchus' life nears its conclusion, the threads of his legacy stretch across the panorama of human civilization. The year 120 BCE marks the terminus of his earthly sojourn, leaving behind a legacy that reverberates through the corridors of time. The impact of his work resonates not only in the celestial spheres he meticulously observed, but also in the minds and institutions that would carry forth his intellectual torch. In retrospect, the life of Hipparchus emerges as a testament to the interplay of individual brilliance and the zeitgeist of an era. His journey, intricately woven with the threads of intellectual exchange, collaborative inquiry, and paradigm-shifting ideas, reveals a man whose quest for understanding propelled humanity into new realms of knowledge. As we stand on the precipice of history, gazing back at the tapestry of antiquity, the figure of Hipparchus beckons, a celestial luminary whose brilliance transcends the boundaries of time and space.